Indeed, we are on high alert following a level two warning that was uh, issued by the South African uh, Weather Services for possible thunderstorms that uh, may lead to flooding. Indeed, we are in a summer season. We are always cognizant and always follow what the South African Weather Services are saying by putting resources uh, on standby. You know, when everybody is on holiday now, we know that for us, it is uh, our duty to ensure that uh, in an eventuality like this, that residents are kept safe. Mm. And the amount of resources deployed, maybe if you can just give us a, a sense of that, what are the numbers? Yeah, out of all our 19 stations across all of Tswane, they are fully resourced with uh, firefighting resources, as well as uh, practitioners and uh, technicians that are swift water rescue, as well as divers that we have placed on standby. So that uh, should there be incidents of flooding, we are able to deploy swift water rescue technicians and uh, where there are accidents, our firefighting as well as uh, rescue resources, all our stations are operational and fully equipped with the resources uh, that are capable of ensuring that uh, any type of incident that is uh, recorded within our jurisdiction is attended to seamlessly. Some of the hotspots, of course, would include Centurion. Previously, we'd known how there would be um, you know, quite a lot of flooding happening in that particular area. But what are some of the areas you're looking at closely? Yeah, look, uh, Centurion, like you said, is a, a known hotspot. But uh, multiple informal settlements uh, within the city are also hotspots in the areas uh, like uh, Mamilodi, around the Banana Bridge,